So those castanets, remember the castanets? I found out that they were originally called rattlesnakes. I thought it would be interesting to compare them to a real rattlesnake sound. Now, the good news is I'm not going to bring a rattlesnake into your house. We're just going to listen to one. So, what do you think? Does it sound like a rattlesnake? I also thought about what was inside a rattlesnake's rattle. And this video is going to share with us. But the cool thing is, they obviously, if you're not familiar with the rattlesnake, they put their tail up and then they shake this away, shake this rattle, and then that's what keeps predators away. So it's interesting because these guys can shake this thing 50 times every, what do you think? So the word predator that he used means um, animals or things that might attack them. So I know that if I heard a rattlesnake's rattle shaking, it certainly would scare me away. And that's the idea. Not that I would have in any intention of hurting a rattlesnake. Second. Every second. And they can do it sustained for up to three or four hours. Your job today, Link, why don't you take it out and then put it on this paper top. Whoa. That feels really weird. It's like you can move it so easily. All right, so lift it up on the body part of it. Oh. Like right there, part of it, and try to shake it. So you can kind of make the noise like. Like that kind of? Well, they do it 50 times in a second. So. I can't do it. I can't move this thing 50 times. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take this razor blade and just cut into it. Yeek. Let's go. Dude, that's hard. That's hard material right there. I don't think it's designed for people to cut them in half. Yeah, these are tough. Sounds kind of gross. It is kind of gross. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. Let's try opening it up a little bit and see what it looks like. Yucky. There's nothing inside of it. Look at that, it just has this little shell type material on the outside. That's really interesting. It's not, there's no balls inside of it that make it rattle or anything. If, if I squeeze it hard, watch this, I'm barely squeezing squeeze almost the entire thing. Oh, I don't know about you, but I was really, really surprised. I was expecting something to be inside of that rattle to be making the noise. And it just sounds like it just had several layers and that's what made the sounds. So I brought two instruments today to share with you that this one actually is called a rattle. And then this one is called a maraca. A maraca is in a Mexican instrument. And both of these are like a, a wide space and they're hollow in the inside, meaning that it's almost like a this one's like a ball. And this one has two tubes here going down or three tubes. And inside each of these is seeds or rocks or something small. And so when you shake them, although the maraca, you really, for these instruments, the best way is not to really shake them. It's to punch the air like this. I'll do one at a time. So here's a maraca. And here's the rattle. It has a different sound, doesn't it? So 
your assignment today is either to find something in your house that sounds like a rattle or to make something in your house that sounds like a rattle. So a couple of easy ideas, something like a cereal box. So like a box, just as long as it's fully closed, if you shake it back and forth, it's going to make a sound like that. What else? Um, like even taking a little Tupperware container with small dried rice inside and shaking it around. Let's see what you guys come up with. You can either take a picture and send it to me, or you can do a video and then share you playing it for me. I'm just gonna take you through the steps in case you forgot how to take a picture or how to do a video. So over here, we're starting with the camera. You would click on the camera. Now, if you wanna do a picture of your instrument, click on photo, take the picture, and then you would click the green check mark to send it in. If instead you want to do a video, click on the camera, then click on the video camera. You're gonna click that video camera again. It's starting to record shortly. Here we go. And then when I'm done, I can simply just click done. And there it is. And oh, don't forget to click that green check mark one more time, otherwise it doesn't make it to me. Thank you, bye.